Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome. My name's Stephanie, and if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, I would love it if you'd hit that little button and stick around for a little while. I have a bunch of fun new projects on the way for spring and summer. Today I want to show you how I made this bumblebee door hanger from stuff I found at the Dollar Tree. For the bee's head, I used one of the 2.8 inch by 5.7 inch half styrofoam balls from Hobby Lobby, a Chanel stem, and some folk art enamel paint in the color licorice. I start by giving the styrofoam ball and Chanel stem a generous coat of paint, making sure they are both completely covered. Then I set them aside to dry. For the body of the bee, I used one of these longer serving bowls from Dollar Tree and a bumblebee skirt that I found at Dollar Tree. To make the body of the bee, I'm going to be using the skirt to cover the bowl. I wanted one long piece of fabric, so I went in and cut along the seam line, and then I cut out the elastic waistband. Once I had the fabric all trimmed up and ready to use, I simply hot glued it around the outside of the bowl and secured it with more hot glue inside the bowl. I did have to do this in two pieces since the fabric wasn't quite wide enough to cover the entire bowl.
For the wings of the bee, I'm going to be using these costume wings that I found in the toy section at Dollar Tree. I start by removing the elastic straps since we're not going to be using them, and then I put a generous amount of hot glue onto the star portion of the wing and hot glue it to the back of my bee. Next, I took the word welcome from this Easter 3-pack from Dollar Tree and painted it with the licorice paint from Folk Art. Once the word was dry, I used a little bit of hot glue to attach it to the center of the wings. To attach the bee's head, I used a craft knife to cut a small slit in the area I wanted the bowl to fit into. Then I used a ton of hot glue to hold it in place. I went back once the glue was dry and reinforced all around the head with more hot glue. To make the bee antenna, I took the chanel stem and folded it in half. Then I used a small paintbrush to curl the ends. Once I had that done, I flipped the bee over and hot glued it to the back side of the ball. <laughs> to finish up the bee, I'm going to take some of this crafter square twine and hot glue it to the inside of the bowl to give it a hanger. Here's how the bee looks hanging out on my front door. I think it turned out absolutely adorable and couldn't have been much easier to make. And if you like this video and want to see more videos like this, please give me a thumbs up and comment below. And if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, I would love it if you'd hit that button and stick around. I'll see you next time.